Hello, hello and welcome back to Leaky Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic World Building Series and today we welcome back our old friend Old Gala. Right, to catch up with some of the things in the game, we're gonna do a short breakdown of uh, what changed in the game. Hopefully this episode is gonna be um, about getting him up to speed. He is considering getting back into it. Uh, so let's try to help the brother out. Um, so if, I'm, if I'm missing something here, uh, just hit the comment section and uh, get old Gala up to speed. What the hell is happening with our farms? Ha, <laughs> this is vanilla farm, Mr. Whale Tear. Ah, okay. Uh, it doesn't have a blueprint here uh, underneath there, but it does have construction happening. That's a little bit weird. Okay, let's go for a little bit weird. No, actually, this one doesn't have a foundation. Let's call it foundation that this brown stuff is a foundation. Uh, probably concrete or asphalt. And some of these sheds don't have it. But that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so uh, first things first. What changed in the game? Uh, the biggest one is the sewage and water system. So if you press F3, you will see new pipes. I think they interact with each other a little bit better than ever before. So I'm really happy to see that. Um, even the existing elect electricity equipment, I think it's reacting better to each other than it did before. So just a heads up on that. I'm quite happy with uh, what they did and how they improved the game uh, regarding the underground uh, construction. So we'll, we'll see in the future episodes how it goes. For now, I'm extending our sewage network, which um, which is progressing. That's the best thing I can say about it. It's progressing. And uh, wow, it's almost done even at some points. Wow. Just wow. Okay. Um, I wanted to real quickly cover something uh, cover cover something as well. Uh, let me just see if I can find this. There's a list of things that uh, um, th there's no list of things that, that they changed in the game. I think more or less they're all minor things except the big sewage thing. Now sewage has to be covered with the underground pipes for uh, the most efficient way. There are a couple of different diameters of pipes. Currently I'm only using the biggest ones. That's it. Period. I'm not even choosing uh, smaller ones ever. Um, also, sewage can be uh, distributed with sewage trucks. Now, your technical services... Your technical services can be assigned to uh, unload and load water and sewage uh, to your uh, industrial states, peoples as well, uh, in your cities. You have the sewage infrastructure like the... Uh, let's see where it is. Uh, here we go. This is the sewage tank. Uh, it's constantly being emptied for us because uh, we have the sewage system here. But in your industrial estates, which we connected already, you can have this sewage tank filling up and you have to manually empty it. So um, in industries, it's not important to have connected to the network. Sorry about that. So you don't have to have it connected to the network, sewage network. You can just um, uh, empty it with a, uh, with the sewage trucks. Sewage trucks will find their own way where they're going to empty anything. Like, for example, we have here a dumping site. Uh, is it working? No, this one is not working. I don't even know where they're... Oh, we, we are not. We only have water delivery. Uh, water delivery and uh, dumping of water. Uh, can we... Uh, I want to say that this is a source building, but no. well, I don't know where they deliver sewage when they deliver sewage. Do they just dump it in the water, or dump it in the nature or not? Okay, I'm going to uh, take a few more seconds to explain how the uh, water system... Oh, oh, this is the Greyhound buses. Anyway, um, uh, just a, a quick coverage how the water system works. So, we have our water source and sewage. So, water and sewage. Water, when you're drilling for water, a uh, big thing is angle at which pipes are uh, delivering water. So you have to be careful about the angle. Uh, so for example, uh, I'm going to go for F2 here. And I'm going to show you how the uh, pumping works real quickly. Uh, comment sections, Discord, go there. I will explain more if you need any help. But you can see that this pipe system starts really low underground. And it's connected underground really deeply. So um, I would suggest that you go for a pumping stations as much as you can. Pumping stations being 
water, no, uh, the, the small water pumping station here. You can see the small and the big one. Uh, you can go for F, uh, sorry about that. You can go for F3 and see how it looks underground. Well, this one doesn't show us much underground, but you can see here on the on the picture that it has underground infrastructure. So this is a big pumping station or a small one. Small one is enough for your basic infrastructure from the building to building, but you might have to have it. You can even see here on the screen how the water pipes are going uphill. The water cannot flow uphill, duh, but um, if you build this... Um, uh, this building, if you build it on a hill, you don't have to have a pumping station, the water will flow on its own. But more or less on flat grounds, pumping stations, similar to conveyor belts. Um, uh, you need to purify the water, almost always the water you're pumping is gonna be uh, 89%, in this case it's 89%, you need to have it at 97 I believe, uh, so you have to always, always, always purify water for uh, for consumption, uh, that's why you have uh, water treatment small, so water goes to water treatment, and then you can go for uh, storage of water, water towers or whatever, in this case we have mining water, purifying water, storing water, and from here water goes into the city, uh, I have these pumping stations all over the place and they are distributing water all over the city. Um, uh, this water is at 99% quality. You can choose the quality. You can literally choose the quality that you want in your uh, sewage treatment, in your uh, treatment system. Uh, you can, uh, de it depends how much chemicals they're gonna consume. So you can go for higher or lower, but it's gonna consume less chemicals if it's lower quality that you want. I always want to have the biggest quality, so that's important. And then water is consumed, and I'm pretty sure the same amount of water you're consuming is gonna be the amount of water that goes into sewage. So if your people are consuming a lot of water, which they do, uh, they will need a sewage system. Uh, so that means you're gonna have to have active sewage system not with trucks build your own sewage system in the cities in the cities so build your sewage system that dumps water directly into the sea into the uh, body of water uh, you, you now we segue towards the sewage system which is sewage tanks are the first thing you need to build in a city this is where the sewage accumulates and then you have these also sewage pumps they can go from minus 5 minus 10 and minus 15 meters what they do uh, if you have uh, pipes going uphill you need to have these pumps pumping sewage uh, uphill so you have you know slightly downhill gradient of your sewage going down and then do not forget to build enough sewage switches this is what i have a problem with sewage switches are where you can connect multiple sewage systems into one and then they go all the way to the dumping site go directly into the river now you can treat it and we are treating it you can see that this pipe going directly to the river is uh, disconnected because i'm not using this pipe anymore we are not dumping anything in the river but what i've been doing is the next thing we are pumping all our sewage into the uh, sewage treatment plant now sewage treatment plant as far as i can see here we can go only up to 85 percent of quality so it's gonna create pollution but much less than it would directly we can probably check this because we have industrial dumping site directly into the sea um, it's 52 percent uh, pollution so 52 percent quality of sewage it's or 52 percent pollution i believe it's like just 50 percent quality it's really dirty water going directly into the sea while this water that is being purified has um sewage pollution of 15 percent that means it's purified to 85 percent quality and it then is being dumped we can go and check our uh, pollution we have a pollution monitoring sorry we have a pollution monitoring station over here. You can see the actual pollution around here. It's not bad. It, I can sli see slight uh, pollution around it. Maybe not. Maybe I'm pretending. Um, it's pretty clean. But if we go all the way here where we dump industrial... It's again a slight variation in color, but it could be due to industrial. But trust me, if you have direct dumping of huge amounts of water, which this is not a huge amount because it's a small dumping site. Well, this one doesn't even have electricity connected. What the hell? Maybe it's not even working. I need to double check this. 
this one, but this one is not being stored, so we don't need it. It goes downhill. I don't think we need electricity for this one. I'll, I'll connect electricity anyway. But what I wanted to say is that this is creating, um, this is creating pollution. Let's see. Uh, sewage filling 5%. So uh, the, the, this will create pollution of your water. Why is pollution important? First of all, it can get your people sick. But more important is that um, a, where you have polluted areas, you cannot mine water for them. I mean, like you can mine water. I don't know why I'm saying mine mining water. Probably because surviving Mars. But um, um, you cannot pump water out. Of, you can pump the water out of the ground. You're just going to have to use more chemicals to purify fight to be drinkable um, so uh, bear in mind that we had over 90% quality of water here but because we have some industries around the water levels degrade the water quality degraded slightly slightly so it's best that you can put your water to be as clean as possible so put it somewhere where you're not gonna build any industries and then pump your water from there uh, to purification station that would be this treatment small one that we have here and then distributed in your city so uh, this is just a suggestion uh, how you can do your water system. I think it's fun. It's really fun. I am enjoying it. Okay, uh, so that was uh, 10 minutes of me explaining a little bit. Uh, hopefully it was, I am pretty sure it's not all the way clear, uh, but um, hit me up on the Discord. I can explain this. I can probably make a video about this, my understanding of water system. Uh, but I think it's really, really interesting. Anyway, uh, so where we are now in this Republic, we are focusing on farming. We do have coal mining. We are exporting electricity. Let's see if something is burning that we cannot help it. No, it's um, Cosmos Cinema. Cinema Cosmos. Uh, we should have uh, discovered because we have several uh, fire stations here. And will the helicopter fly? No, the helicopter is not flying. Why is it? Why is the helicopter not flying? That's an interesting one. Huh. Okay. Uh, hopefully, probably he is not needed. Let me see if uh, we have the coverage. How do you see coverage? There should be a helicopter coverage. No. There was, there should be helicopter coverage. I have a feeling that because of the issues with the game, with the slots of the, um, uh, so it's not registering this helicopter in the slots, and that's not giving me, it's not giving me those dots how much helicopters are covering. Maybe I'm missing something, but I'll, I'll see if I can hover over. No, um, uh, maybe I can. Let's try this. What if I sell this vehicle? Okay. I'm just wondering if I can make this helicopter work. Maybe it's working. Maybe it's all fine. It's just... Uh, hmm. Can I buy now a vehicle? I think I cannot. I think it's... Uh, let's see. I think we have even better fire trucks. Uh, no. It doesn't allow me to buy it anymore. I think it's, again, the game being a little bit broken. What I mean being broken is that um, when you attach the helicopter landing pad to your building, it doesn't open up a new slot, even though obviously it can house three vehicles, two fire trucks and a helicopter. Uh, in this case, it doesn't allow me to have a, um, another vehicle because game is broken. And game is broken often, but um, you know me, I'm always bitching about this stuff. So anyway, anyway, anyway. We had enough of this coffee time. I have a big bucket of really hot coffee. It's 8.30 in the morning when I'm recording this. Yeah, let's get to it. Right, the pride and joy, joy, joy of our construction here are Fjordskas. I would like to expand on them, but as I previously mentioned, these uh, buildings here, which are ooh, almost 100% full, this is really nice, are having um, are having a little bit higher capacity than I expected. M uh, Mr. Bremer is in convincing me that this is per square meters of the apartments that this is realistic uh, apartment space i'm not going to argue with that so these two buildings have 340 people each i'm not going to go into details um, these buildings here i didn't count but they have a little bit less capacity than these and they look a little bit bigger so i'm gonna be frank here and say yeah of course these are perfectly fine i will do a little bit of uh, decoration here Yes, perfect. I wanted to build a little forest in between these two buildings, just so people can have some privacy between each other. Um, 
I think that would be really nice thing to have. Uh, and also kids to play around here. In a forest. Not really a forest, more like an um, orchard <laughs> line of trees. Um, I'm, I'm happy with this. Okay, um, anything else I would like to cover here? Let's see. Fire extinguished, of course. New vehicle type? No. No, we don't have anything. I would like to focus... Um, um, I will talk about something. First, uh, we have a couple of comments I would like to cover. Uh, first of all, welcome back, old Gala. The second one, 18 a.m., is gonna ping me on Discord. Uh, his setup of his this, uh, the um, construction offices. Well, I might consider going back to the basics going back to exactly what you guys want me to do and that would be uh just go back to whoa okay we have vehicle where is it why am i not seeing it oh it's because it's on this side um going back to the basics and just getting uh, uh construction offices and just filling it in with vehicles small construction offices all over the place maybe that's the best thing to do you know go full no calculations just build construction offices that's it i will consider it but i think this is a big thorn in my eye this is my biggest interest i like this i like these calculations i like this i said already that so I really like it. Uh, I like calcula calculating to have as little vehicles as possible, so they're all being utilized and used uh, to the greatest extent. And um, I, I really, really enjoy this. I'm, I'm struggling to understand it, but that's because... No, there's no because. I'm struggling to understand it, and I enjoy the struggle. Okay, um, the next thing is... Um, Welter said distribution footpaths with uh, bulldozers... Um, uh, then you only need small buses. Uh, do footpaths with bulldozers, then you need only small buses. Well, we don't need uh, buses at all, then. If we replace these buses here with the bulldozers, yes, bulldozers can construct the uh, roads. Not really bulldozers, I think excavators. Excavators can construct uh, the uh, the roads, and we have, we had, I don't know if we have it now, or it's gonna be in the future, uh, we can buy these um, small excavators with a bucket. We have these gas ones, they would be perfect for this we can go and construct our own uh, footpaths with these we don't need buses at all maybe that's the solution maybe it is maybe it's not i'm not really sure but this is an interesting uh, concept uh, to try out i think we discussed it in alaska series with uh, stats as well but um, uh, i don't know i think i'm doubling up these construction offices as the footpath construction offices as buses to other construction sites so i think i'm pretty happy with that now if you're still Thinking that we're, uh, if you're thinking, if you're thinking that we are not doing much here now, uh, bear in mind that we have enormous amounts of construction to finish, and um, we did finish this. This is interesting. Uh, this one needs a footpath as soon as possible because it's too short. I'm shocked that this is too short. Not really shocked, but um, what's the? It's January 31st. We cannot do much here anymore. I will go for uh, maybe one road here. Uh, because I would like us to finish, uh, to upgrade some of the roads to gravel, just because um, they are, um, just because the uh, rain, even though our vehicles cannot drive more than 35 kilometers per hour and these mud roads allow them 40, when it's raining uh, or anything else, they will slow down to 15, so gravel roads will definitely help them. Uh, messaging uh, traffic jam, let's see it. Unfortunately, this is how the cookie crumbles. I think I'm gonna have to do these trucks without waiting. This is gonna make this is gonna make a wealthier, a uh, happy, happy guy because we're gonna have more trucks uh, circling around here. Okay, uh, but at least we're gonna have water delivered and uh, all of this stuff. Yeah, here we go. We're gonna have water. We have too much boards anyway, so we're fine with this. Uh, continuing on, um, uh, footpath office is a very bad use of construction office. Dedicated construction office is the best way to go. Um, right, what I wanted to... Uh, I think the footpath office is the most efficient one we have. Um, because it has so many small trucks and so many small buses. Uh, talking about small buses, we have way too many of them here parked. They're usually always busy when there's construction happening, which... Uh, I have a feeling that we have a bottleneck or something because there's quite few of these parked now, but they're going, they're going to construction sites, which we're going to cover for the rest of the episode. Well, from now on, we're going to cover rest of the, um, rest of the uh, constructions. We're going to try to see if everything is assigned and working properly. You can see here by the amount of uh, excavators that we don't have any groundwork happening. 
we do, we're not building anything uh, relating to, related to groundwork. Uh, that's because uh, our biggest constructions uh, here and here, this one passed the groundwork stage. Uh, we're gonna need buses here. I'm gonna just assign the footpath to the farm. Uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna finish this farm on time. I hope we will. Oh, no, it has buses. Okay, that's fine. But again, the slow snow is slowing them down. 12 kilometers per hour. Are, are the people gonna survive? Let's see. Yes, they will. They can <laughs> have five hours of traveling. They're traveling two and a half. So we're gonna finish this hopefully really soon. And we're gonna have a new farm uh, ready for the new season, which is more than I expected. Um, we will have then the uh, silos. We need to rush towards silos so we can start uh, um, storing the grains. Uh, I will build the infrastructure of the railroad here and the big fields on the other side. We're gonna go probably for 18 big fields, uh, but we'll see. We, we have already crap lot of fields on this side and they're all connected to the farm but we'll see we'll see okay uh continuing on uh wealthier is gonna leave us for two weeks he has vacation who has vacation these days anyway uh th through the dark we're gonna go and check out our financial situation which cannot be good oh this month we're going in plus that's perfect I'm kidding, it's not, because it's only started. Last month, we were minus 15,000. Why is that? Probably because steel imports. We imported a lot of steel, machine parts, fuel machine parts. That means that we finished the conveyor belt? No, we didn't. No, we didn't. We did deliver materials there, but we didn't finish it. Okay, uh, I will go and cover this, first of all, population. Uh, sorry, first of all, financial system, uh, finan finances. Uh, last, let's go this year. Uh, this year we are minus 10,000, so we are losing money. We didn't import any vehicles. Oh, exported. Oh, I sold the fire truck. Ah. Uh, imported resources against steel is 83,000 and uh, steel is going to be a big, big thing for us because um, the, the railroad construction office is constructed and that means we're going to probably start seeing a lot of, um, well, need for steel. Rest of the materials, I think we're fine with uh, prefab panels. Uh, let's go like this, prefab panels to 100% and then 50% steel. Um, let's go like this. Uh, this is what we're gonna need for every construction. Let's see. Oh, prefab panels is like 60%, 65. Uh, this is how many uh, per construction. You can see here 6.6 .6 tons of prefab panels, 3.3 .3 of steel. So two thirds of construction goes for prefab panels. So I'm gonna do the same here. We don't need bricks and boards for any of this construction because this is gonna be only steel and only prefab panels. We're gonna have diesel uh, trains over here. And we finished our fueling station, which we can assign to our fuel distribution office, which is ever so ever so uh, busier because I can see less and less trucks parked here. Oh, right, we are doing fast and we shouldn't do. Okay, uh, the main road here is being finished. Uh, this is our second industrial uh, industrial industrial area. Uh, well, expansion of the farming industrial area. And I would like to focus on this right now. So we're going to have the food production uh, over here. We're going to have storage for food and we're going to have the grain storage over here. So I'm going to focus on this and uh, try to do a little bit, you know, those small details that everybody loves. Nobody loves them, but uh, I'm going to go and build the overpass over the railroad. I will connect it hopefully on both sides so we can start constructing it and uh, make this area look nice. That's going to be our first goal here. Uh, one second and here we go. So overpass, I'm going to go for concrete to use less steel as possible because we don't have enough steel. Oh, we have these modded ones. Oh, but this, in this case, I think this one is going to be a better choice. So I think we're going to have to go for something like this. Let's go for here and then rotate it. Uh, it will not be connected, right? Because it can be connected anywhere, I'm pretty sure. No. Infrastructure in the way, opposite side. It doesn't work. I think it has to be connected. It could be due to this uh, road over here that we are not even using. I can remove it, but I'll play with this a little bit just for a second, just to see if we can make it work. So yeah, this is obviously creating connections automatically. So this one might be the problem. I will uh, start on the other side now. Uh, footpath office, not footpath office, footpath constructions. 
uh, this is where they have to go to work. Oh, I can do it on this side then. Uh, not sure if this is gonna be better or not. Rotate it twice. Oh, okay. Sh maybe, sure. I wanna say sure. Not the bad word, I wanna say sure. Uh, sure. Okay. So if I do it like this. Okay. And then I need to connect this to to the road system so it can be actually constructed okay this looks uh, like it's gonna work out so we have this big overpass here and we need uh, this overpass over here now unfortunately there's no connection to the main road on this side so i'm just gonna have to do some stupid stuff like this so it's just oh i can do that doesn't matter i could have connected it here but it doesn't matter so they're gonna build this overpass i think this is exactly what we needed this is the only building here that requires workers Okay, <clears throat> plan was that I could have built a, a train station here, but the future development of this railroad... Uh, first of all, we need people here before the train is gonna come. Um, we're gonna, I was thinking of building a train stations like one here for this industrial and the, the second one around here This is where the iron mining and processing is gonna be and then the third station all the way here where uranium is gonna be mined But I am not sure if um, if I'm gonna go for this. I'm not sure how this is gonna look like uh, So I and also this railroad is gonna take a while to be constructed So I didn't know how many people each industry is gonna take and if one train or one train system can deliver to three industrial areas so I'm gonna skip this one. First of all, this one it requires 170 and this one requires 90 workers. So that's gonna be 260 workers, which is uh, kind of... I wanted to say small uh, for trains, uh, but it's not even really. It's decent. It's quite decent. So uh, let's see this. Remove, remove, traffic jam, traffic jam again. I'll, I'll address that later. But anyway, the, the, the second thing I wanted to do here is to start on the railroad uh, construction. Now, again, my small brain wants to go to basic, go all the way small, because we are not in a rush with this railroad construction. Uh, but I'm not sure if I should be doing that. Uh, I will actually go for this. I will do it like this. I think we can have people walk here to work, right? Yeah, kind of, from this bus station. So I will leave these people to come to work like this. I will need... Uh, you remember that I said that, that this distribution office will be delivering uh, gravel and these materials for helicopters. Yes, well, I'm going to use the same distribution office to deliver for railroad construction. I will go for... I'll have to go for big trucks, unfortunately. I wanted to go for all the Zubra ones here, these Polish trucks. But I think we're going to need a lot of big dumpers. Uh, let's go for three dumpers let's go for um, I will need two open hulls at least maybe even more but let's go open hulls and again we're gonna have to go for capacity here whoa but Zuber has an even bigger capacity a little bit bigger uh, you know what let's test it out let's have this one uh, this is gonna be enough for our so I'm gonna need gravel uh, uh, pick the gravel up here and then deliver gravel over here let me see if this is correct pick and unload yes and then we're gonna need a loading of uh, of why is the uh, what 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 why is this selected here was this delivering fuel or something did I select f oh darn it okay so remove and remove but wait I thought I selected this one. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Uh, let's go real quickly. This is the distribution office. Let's go and you're gonna load here. Load with gravel. And then, it uh, doesn't matter. He knows what he needs to load. And here we're gonna unload. Unload gravel. This is the gravel storage. That's the only thing we can do. And the second one, he's gonna be loading these materials from the uh, uh, station. And it's gonna be delivering them here. So unload. Uh, prefab panels and steel there we go these are the two things that he's going to be delivering all his trucks should be working now i wanted to test these zuber trucks these are supposed to be only for car exports we'll see what they're going to be for but um uh, i wanted to test them out they look ugly and i did the ugly they look ugly for transporting steel we'll see how they're going to look like after uh, we uh, stock them up but anyway in this episode i wanted to start on our railroad construction uh, as you can see traffic jam for processing ground of course and um, I wanted to start building the uh, railroads 
I can see that there's no people coming here, even though we have... Right, we have a problem here. Um, I told these people to rotate between this station and this station. They will never go over here. I'm thinking if I should be delivering people directly or just stop them from going from to this station back. So there's a trick that you can use. You tell people from one station to go to work on the other station that is in walking range and two of them are exchanging workers constantly so whenever a vehicle arrives somewhere they both of these stations will be constantly populated with workers so i thinking that this is working well but unfortunately this is also causing problems that people won't go to work there i'm thinking if we can connect this with footpaths to the residential areas that this will make people go to work a little bit faster Let's see if I can do this. Um, something like this. Something like this. I can build it all the way here, but it needs to be connected to this. Let's see how this works. Uh, go from here over here and then from here here uh, let's build this and see how our connectivity to people will be after this okay i'm gonna end it here uh because i'm pretty happy with uh, everything that's happening looks like they um uh, shovel the gravel everywhere we just need to lay the asphalt and that's gonna be it why is there roadworks and road why is there people here how did people arrive here helicopters no I have no idea. I have no idea. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to say, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope uh, at least somewhat we got uh, old Gala up to speed. Uh, any other comments, uh, hit the comment section if I missed anything, guys. Uh, sorry about that but hopefully we're gonna cover it in the future for now i'm gonna say thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this one if you did press the like button if you didn't leave a nasty comment in the comment section let me know what you think like subscribe notification bell ring it comment section hit it and if you want to support the channel we have description of the video thanks for watching guys and i'm gonna see you in the next one bye bye